I'm Annika and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking cute baby wild boars! Now springtime is here and that can only mean one thing baby animals in abundance. Rescues like Vale Animal Hospital in Gloucestershire try hard to look after the hundreds of teeny sized patients knocking at their door, fix them up and then always return them back to the wild. I'm here today at Vale and this is Pig a little pig here, he's a little rescue wild boar and he was found on his own in the Forest of Dean, no mother anywhere and it was very right that he was brought in because he's obviously an orphan and he's being cared for, look at him, he's absolutely gorgeous and wild boars as you know, um, they're not exactly viewed as a native population, they were eradicated centuries ago, he's always on the move, <laughs> he's absolutely gorgeous, he's got this thick wiry hair, he's absolutely beautiful, much thinner than the classic pig <laughs> And he's off again. Very, very, very cute. Almost like a little dog. And um, with a huge appetite to match. I'm here with Jeff Wood, who works at Vale. And um, you get... Wild boar in how often would you say? We rarely get them in. Um, we've had a couple um, now in the last two years. Um, the one that we had previously ended up going to a permanent home down in Devon. Um, unfortunately with the boar the problem is that um, we aren't able to rehab and release as we do the rest of the casualties that we get in. Um, it seems, it seems so unfair considering they used to be native to, to the British Isles that, that they don't allow them to go back in. They've obviously Absolutely. been culling loads recently as well, Yeah, where, where this little chap came from is actually, um, there's a cull going on at the moment. Um, we did approach Natural England to see if we could get a release licence for this um, for this boar, um, but we were declined. Wow. So unfortunately, um, as you've seen, we're very hands-on with him because yeah. he is going to have to be a permanent resident um, somewhere. Um, yeah. which... He's absolutely he's amazing, he's fantastic. So tell me, what happens when you get a baby boar come in? How do you feed them? How do you look after them? How do you okay. raise them? We, um, we, we get them stable, so they're generally... <laughs> he went up my <laughs> Again. <laughs> Not again. He's going after the cameraman's crown jewels <laughs> again, I've got to <laughs> tell you. <laughs> yeah. When the babies come in, it's ge it's generally a case of getting them stable. Um, they're always they're always cold, um, so heat, um, fluids, subcutaneous fluids, and they're not. Um, they usually have lactate, which is a rehydration fluid orally, um, and that'll be followed with milk. Um, we use multi milk, which is a, okay. a pig rearing milk. And how old is he now? He's about seven weeks now. Okay, and he's still on milk, which I notice he's slurping from the bowl. Yes. And then you've given him some thicker ambrosia. Yeah. Yeah, he loves Ambrosia. He's, um, it's something we've used to try and get him off the bottle okay. originally that he really took to. And in the wild, when do they finish suckling off the mum? I think they would suckle for as long as mum would put up with them. <laughs> and I think that this guy would probably have milk until he was about 10 years old if we would allow oh, really? it. Um, <laughs> he does favour the milk over everything else. And of course you were saying in the wild that um, other mothers will adopt That's other, right. other piglets, That's won't right, they? Yeah. Um, it's getting naughty now. <laughs> If this pig hadn't been, <laughs> if he hadn't been critically ill, yeah. um, then it would have been uh, uh, potentially he could have been reared by another mother. He's getting naughty now, isn't he? Hello, he's, sausage. He's great. Hello, you eating my hair? You eating my hair? <laughs> he's so cute. Hello, Piggy Winkle. <laughs> he's going. <laughs> he's going. <laughs> oh, and off he goes. Wild boars were driven to extinction back in the 13th century, and subsequent reintroductions on hunting estates didn't last, as all the boars were killed almost immediately by hunters or because they were viewed as agricultural pests. 
In 1998, it was announced that some wild boars had escaped from farms and had returned to living in the wild. These animals are culled heavily now as they are still considered to be agricultural pests and their acceptance as part of the British native landscape is far from being a reality. Sadly, our little friend that I met today will now need to live his days out in captivity as Vale have been told that they will not be able to release him back into the wild or accept any more orphan babies. It's a sad situation indeed and a very unfair one. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure meeting little baby wild boars. I'm Annika Svenska. Ah, and he bit my finger. I'm Annika Svenska and you've been watching Animal Watch. Join me next week when I meet lots of fabulous new wild animals and animal rescue. Bye for now.